there's no incentive to pay for what you can get for free. So the incentive here is the cellular-based music delivery system. And it, it has tons of perks, which I've outlined in other videos. And what the most important thing that's going to happen with this, if it gets adopted by lots of people, and the record companies play ball, and everybody plays ball, it changes the music system dynamics. <clears throat> because if people are paying a flat rate, let's say monthly, then how royalties are calculated and tabulated, it's not as significant. Because what this is, is open-ended. Because some days they'll play a lot of stuff, and some days they won't, okay? This rate really is not going to fluctuate. It's just going to be a standard automatic rate. And so <clears throat> people like independent artists or basically a lot of artists are going to get paid again. And we're getting rid of a lot of the clutter in the middle. If there is a flat rate paid by like millions of people such as this. So you say, what's the incentive? To pay this flat rate. <clears throat> well, if you have a system A over here, it's a it's a it's a Bluetooth speaker. It does nothing, and it's just sitting there. It, it doesn't it doesn't have anything, but it does have the ability to connect with Bluetooth, and from that you can access some things. Okay, so then you're you're relying on two different systems, on Bluetooth and whatever system you're connecting to it. Or you have system B, which is just going to, you're going to flick a button and you're going to beam down all the music directly instantly. And it's going to be the most music that's available. And it's going to be instantly done with no setup. Which of these products do you suspect the consumer is going to choose? They're going to choose the one where you just flick it on and... Boom, you're getting instant uh, gratification because they're going to have to pay some fees somehow, some way, someday through op op Model A. It's just going to be scattered all over the place. But through Model B, where we're using the cellular system, they just pay this one fee per month and they have access to everything that they would ever could ever imagine. And guess what? Maybe some months they don't want to pay. So no problem. Shut it off. And how could you ever go back to a system where you're going to flick something on and then you're going to have to set this up and plug this in and pair this and sync this and this won't upload properly and dang it, I'm trying everything but this doesn't work and blah, blah, blah. Have you ever set up devices like this and gone through what's supposed to be a normal setup only to find that it doesn't work like they said it was going to work? Well, that's about probably 80% of the time that occurs versus this is already good to go and you're just going to automatically get it all and it's the simplification is built into the price and all these things are built into the price dynamic and this dynamic is interesting because you know we're talking about millions and millions of tracks flowing around in all directions so they'll be able to use the information about who's using how many tracks of this and how many tracks of that so they may, they may, may be able to tokenize some degree of like who gets the most streams and all that. <clears throat> but if you have a million people paying a flat rate, it's just what it is. It really doesn't matter beyond that which artist they stream. They're not going to buy this package for the artist. Which is interesting because I'm an artist and I hate to think of artists not being the incentive. But in this, in this case, artists like variety. And variety is the incentive having actual incentives like a cellular system that holds a master profile to all the music that's available that you can take in multiple devices that's that's your incentive so that's how we change the dynamics of the music business in one full sweep just like that and you know you you'll have to figure out the rate you'll you'll have to figure out how many dongles to provide per person or whatever you want to call them whatever you want to brand them It'll, it'll, there'll be lots of hookups and hiccups, you know, beyond, uh, you know, just the initial concepts, obviously. So that's for the teams to flesh out and work out. 
But in the meantime, we do have an opportunity here to change the dynamics of the system that people have been complaining about for over 100 years, guys. Now, we're talking about you know issues with corruption in music business, but there's other problems in the music business too of just you know the system dynamics where you know X Y Z artists make seven zillion dollars, but you know A B C artists make such and such, but they're great artists. We don't want to just dispose of them. We want them to make an income. So you know that's where this whole dynamic can change. That's what they tried to do with the streaming um, subscription services, but nobody's going to pay for them. Because there's no incentive because you can just go right over and get them for free, of course. And then once you download them, it's free again. You know. So what we're trying to do is turn music into a luxury. And it's a, the, the luxury is the cellular system that's delivering the all of music to your devices for a flat fee. No fuss. Could even be baked into hardware with your own agreements. Or advertising you take that advertising and all of a sudden it goes from 29 to 9.99 if people are willing to sit through ads i am if i could hear my actual music that i picked and i have to hear a couple ads here and there a couple don't go crazy but a couple you know it's like uh, maybe i'm gonna save that money so there's ways to finagle the rate you know what i mean it's just so deep this concept think about it Music as a cellular service.